Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, you're welcome. My name is Didi and I make videos about the real things in life that I like. So in today's video, we're gonna go over all my handbags that I wore the most for 2024 thus far. So I'm filming this at the end of June, so we're gonna do the most I've used from January up to June, the first half of the year. And then at the end of the year, like around, I don't know, probably December or so, I'll do another one for the remainder of the second half of the year. So. I have with me 10 handbags. Those are the one the ones I wore the most. But without further ado, <laughs> let's get started. So we're gonna go from smallest to biggest one. So the first one I have uh, from my most used handbags so far is the Gucci super mini mama or gucci mama super mini size it's a beautiful red with brass gold hardware is it brass or gold hard one of two <laughs> it is this beauty here i've had this bag for a few years now it comes with a long cross body strap fun fact this is the only bag in my collection that i wear cross body because i'm not a cross body -er. but even so when i do wear cross body because it's super super long i have to crisscross the strap to make it uh, what i do is i put one like this the other one like this so I shorten it a little bit and then i'm going to wear cross body like this so this is more uh doable for my height and I don't know why they make it so long because I'm not that, I'm not sure at all. I'm like five, seven ish. So yeah, it hits me right here. So when I cross by you, and you can also wear it as a belt bag, but it doesn't work for, work out for me as a belt bag. Belt bag. Oh, let me show you the inside. So it has just a big opening. I have the authenticator thingy and target receipt so it does have a one opening and then it does have this clip so if you were to wear it as a belt bag so this is how you will do it so you put both strap on one side and then you clip it like so but for me i can't wear it as a belt bag because this uh, doesn't fit my waist it's too large and if i were to double cross it it would be too small so i can only wear cross bag um, and I haven't tried to do it because I think there's a way I could make it talk and but it's so tiny that I have to wear it cross body. So this is the first one. So this is one of my uh, grab and go bags. Like like I said, I have Target recently where like I'm going to the store real quick. I just grab it, put my card case in there, the lipstick. That's it. Ready to go. It doesn't fit much. Uh, I don't think it will fit my phone even because I have a Ultra Samsung Ultra 22 and it's long. You know, it won't even fit my phone. Just a card case and a lipstick or lip gloss. So, second one. It's another one. I actually wore this yesterday. So, this is my uh, Louis Vuitton Nano. Speedy Nano in the monogram print. This one's a favorite of mine. Like, this bag will never leave my collection. Until I'm ready to pass it down to, like, my daughter. If I have a daughter, granddaughter, or niece or niece. Um, little cousins but for now it's a forever bag <laughs> until i am old and gray and ready to pass it down so this is the super mini this one comes in multiple print it comes in a imprint a black imprint leather i thought about that one and then it comes in the i think some of the uh, seasonal collections the daniel dishes one i think it comes in that print i think it also has an adjustable strap, which I love. This one, I wear a top handle. I cross body it sometimes, but mostly I wear a top handle with the strap hanging down like this. Or I cross it like this. Or every once in a while, that one, I will cross body it because the strap is adjustable, so I will adjust it down too. Uh-oh, I got lipstick on it. <laughs> but it's treated leather, so I'll get that cleaned. So it is cross bodied. Oh, got my lipstick on the bag. Uh, 
that's my purpose. I love lipstick. So this was the second one. And then moving on, I bought this recently actually. I think I bought this earlier this year, but I've worn it quite, quite a lot. So when I purchased this, I also got the Classy 19 in the denim print, not denim print, and the denim, but I wore this most comparing the denim. So this one, I grabbed a lot and I wear it like this. Let me put this up, show you. So I wore it top handle like this. It is so good, like with an all black outfit, all white outfit. I haven't, I haven't worn it in print yet. I wore it with like simple, like one color, like all white, all black. And so far, got a lot of compliments. It is gorgeous, gorgeous. So the denim print, not print, the denim uh, came, when did it come out? Was the denim came out with this? Because the, um, the quilted tabby came out last year, late last year. But I'm not sure if the denim also came out last year or this year but <clears throat> yeah the quilted tabby it comes in denim it comes in leather and it comes in a uh, few other i think there's one that's like uh has uh pink lips on it there is a tie-dye one so there are different varieties so this one it's just two slots i keep all my black stuff except for the super mini for some reason i lost the stuffing for that one but i could grab from other bags and stuff it because i want to keep it and shit because right now it's like very yeah i have to stuff it so this one is the quilted tabby from coach so i also purchased this one and i've used it a lot a lot this uh so far this year this is the chalk color so it's the same as this one the quilted tabby the size 20. so this one comes in 20 26, 33 in a wristlet version, but I've only had the size 20s. I have quite a few actually Because <laughs> I really really love this size so classy to me Very like going out like especially when I do it top handle like this. It's very cute I can even do it like this on my wrist. Very very cute So this one's chalk color. It's like an off-white with gold hardware so. And then this one no questions, no surprise that this one's always forever one of my favorite and one of my most used bags all year round. It's the uh, Cassie 19 in the color black. So this one is my, I don't have to put any thought in my outfit, any thought in the bags I wear. I just grab it and go. <laughs> wherever I'm going, if I need a purse, I always bring a purse when I'm going anywhere actually. So wherever I'm going, if I need a black purse or any purse, or any purse at all that I don't have to put so much thought in I just grab this one so this one's always always my most used one of my most used bags so and the leather's gotten so 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 soft because I wore it a lot so yeah with the Cassie 19 they come with three straps top handle and then with the chain and then of course body straps but I mostly wear mine with the top handle with the gold chain hanging down like this or if I need to have my hands free for a second I put the chin over my shoulder like this so, this is how I wear all my casties and I do have a video on my channel about all my casties like my casting bags collection I'm gonna link it down below so you can take a look and see all the beautiful colors and sizes that I have on the casting light so moving along I have also this YSL cast on the bag this bag was a dream of mine and I was able to add it to my collection. I love, 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 love this bag. It is one of my favorites from from the brand and also from my collection altogether. It is a very beautiful mud crack leather black with gold hardware. This is one of my when I need a so this one is when I need a casual black bag, and this one is when I need a fancy black bag. Like I'm going out to dinner, like a nice outing. So I grab this one. So I mostly wear a top and over the strap tie around like this oh I will have the strap hanging down so uh, there we go oh I have the strap hanging down like this and if I need my entry I do have the option to shoulder it or but it shows really really long like it's can't even see it's hitting 
uh, is way below my uh, hip, but it looks nice uh, over the shoulder like this, or I could force body it if I, if I need to. But this one, it has a back pocket that is to me useless. <laughs> I could put my phone in it, but I have to put it standing up because it's small. And because it's uh, mud crack leather, it is very stiff leather, so it's not really stretchy. And to open it, it has a very beautiful mechanism to open. You flip the Y and then you, I keep saying Y, you flip the L and then you lift the Y, then it opens. And the opening, just two pockets and then a little uh, card slash in the back. So this one, I added to my collection last year, I believe, early last year. Yeah, and this one will be in my collection for a very, very long time as well. So we're moving on quickly. Another bag that I added last, not last year, this year. This one I added uh, the Loewe puzzle bag in the size small during my birthday uh, month in February of this year. And thus far, I've worn this bag so, so much because I am literally, literally obsessed with it. Because this, this bag, I've wanted to add it in my collection for a while. And then I wanted to add another neutral color bag, like a brown bag. Like most of my luxury purchases, except for Louis Vuitton, all of them are like in neutral colors because, I don't know, <laughs> I tend to play with colors when the bags are not super crazy expensive because I don't wear color. I don't wear color a lot, but I think I wear neutral more because most outfits go like call for like a black bag, a brown bag, a cream bag, you know, but Anywho, this is a little puzzle bag and the beautiful, beautiful brown leather and then with silver hardware. It has a Louis anagram here. And if you flip the little flap here, you can see the zipper. Then you open it. It has a big open pocket. And then I have it stuffed right now because I wanted to keep the ship. It has a crossbody strap, which is adjustable. So I also wore it as a shoulder bag and this bag also have a zipper in the back but it's a very small zipper so the zippers stop right here like just that little side is the pocket yeah it stop there so this one it has no feet beautiful beautiful the leather is so soft I think it's cow skin leather so soft oh my gosh beautiful beautiful I am obsessed like, if I could, I would add them in multiple, multiple colors. But this bag, like, for this size, I believe it's 3200 So they're not the prices. That's why I only have one. So <laughs> if there were other prices, I would have, like, this in black. They have black with gold hardware. They have black with silver hardware. They have a multicolor one that in the mini size that I'm looking at. I might add that at one point. But... Yeah, it also comes in a smaller size in this one, which is the mini, this is the small, there's a medium, and then there's a large, so. But the large leaves weaken the bag, so. Yeah, this is my Louis Eve puzzle bag. This is my only bag from Louis Eve, but I am starting to like the brand a lot, a lot, so I'm looking at other pieces from Louis Eve to add to my collection, so. <laughs> and then... The one pouch that made the list of top 10 most used this year is this one, thus far. It's my Gucci pouch. So this one, I purchased it <laughs> around this, with the same time as this one. So there's a story for regarding this too. One day I'm going to film a video about to tell you what happened because it's a very beautiful story. <laughs> But this one is the uh, Gucci, I think that's the Diana Horsbit. I'll put the new on the screen, but I don't think they, I'm not sure if they still have this one, but they do have another version, which is a cosmetic pouch. But I think the cosmetic pouch, the cosmetic pouch is a little less in this one, but this one is beautiful. It has a beautiful open uh, mechanism. It has like a little clip, clip. That open this like this and then you unzip it just one big pocket that's it and it is a suede lining it feels very nice so this one i took it to vacation because uh we went to key west recently so that was my main bag that i bought i wore it a few times and then 
other times also I wore a lot for the first half of the year so I wore this quite a while so this one you know I love my pouches I have a collection of pouches I'm gonna link it down below as well I love pouches like because they're hands free put it on their shoulder like this or you could wear it top and like this but mostly I just put them under my shoulder and go by my day love 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 me good pouch so this is my Gucci pouch and then I have my work bag. So, so far, the two bags I've rotated the most for my work, work bag collection. For my work bag, I use the MCM bags because they are durable. durable. <laughs> it's under, un under this, un understatement. I can't talk. Like, durability is an understatement when it comes to these bags. Those shopper took from CM. So this is the uh, one I wore, uh, this one and another one. But I have a lot of them I wrote it throughout uh, for, my, for work. But the one that I use the most thus far is this one and the other one I'm not sure. But these, <laughs> they can sure take a beating. So this one is currently stuffed with some bubble wrapper and has two uh, pouches. I also have a collection of my MCM tools. I'm gonna link it down below. I think I have quite a few. How many do I have? I have them in black. They're multicolor. I'm gonna show you. Cream, cognac, white, pink. I think I have six or seven, if I'm not mistaken. But I'll link the collection so we'll take a look at them. But they are very doable with either a work bag, a school bag, mom bag, or an everyday tote bag. Highly, highly, highly recommend. They are easy to clean, so not that you can do on the outside, that's not wipeable. On the inside, it is canvas, so it's uh, harder to clean on the inside. But if you have a bag organizer, you won't get dirty. And also, if it gets dirty, because it's meant to be used right so it is all this is also reversible but i've never reversed any of mine honestly i don't even know how to reverse it because it's because the bottom is reinforced with these so it's not easy to flip so I'm, i don't play with the flipping <laughs> and they do have leather feet so this is the one and last but not least of my used work bag is this one this one, the amount of compliments I get at work, the amount of people asking me how can they get their hands on it. But this one, unfortunately, was a limited edition. They don't produce it anymore. They came out with it, it lasts a few months on the website, disappeared. So this is the one that comes with, it's multicolored. It is uh, cognac, black, and the white one uh, all together. But it is a bit different compared to this one. Because this one have the middle section with the MCM emblem on there. But this one doesn't have that. So this one you can wear this side for a front or this side for a front. It doesn't have a front and back until you look on the inside. So the inside of this one, whew, it's heavy because I'm currently using it as work bag. So it has a big pouch there that I can put a water bottle in. And it has two pockets here. That has my work uh, badge and stuff and school badge and then on the back has a zipper pocket and then i have my folder that has stuff from way back i don't know why it's still there i have my little pouch my lady pouch which has my uh ping pongs perfumes uh deodorant hairbrush comb um what is what I have in there? Toothbrush, toothpaste. Because I do work long hours in the hospital, so I work like 12 hour shifts. So I do need everything that I need. So I do have toothbrush and toothpaste after I eat because I do still have my. Because I had braces for the longest time and then I took them out. It was time for them to come out. But I still have my retainer on the bottom, which is like a permanent retainer. So after I eat, stuff can get stuck in there. So I do have to. Every time I, after I eat, when I'm at work, at the restaurant, <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom and clean my teeth. So, I have that. I have floss in there. I have this, which is my pens, because I had to learn a hard lesson, because one of my pen ink threw up in the bag and then messed up it inside of one of my Burberry totes. Very expensive lesson learned. 
And then I'm doing a wash in my bag. Why don't they do a wash in my bag? Because I have a lot of stuff in the bag. Then I have my uh, Louis Vuitton Kyrgyz inside. This is the small one. The mini is inside. The mini has my card case. So this one, I put this. I put the mini inside this one. Then I put my key fob inside this one. I have pole socks. I have stethoscope. I have charger. The charger that I need, like I said, working long hours, your phone tends to die, and I like to have my phone charged. I have hand cream, because I always have to have hand cream, because working in the hospital runs, not runs, run havoc on our hands, from washing our hands every every time I work in patient care, so we actually have to see patients, touch patients, so I have to wash my hands constantly, like on average, like 100 times per night. How to wash my hands or use hand sanitizer and the chemicals on those it's a lot so my hands always dry and crackling so this one it is very it's called aquaphor healing ointment this one is very this is for dry cracked or irritated skin so i use it on my hands and it works uh, very good because it's very thick solution and it's very oily so after use it makes my hand very soft so I do have to, I buy a lot of them because that doesn't last me a month. Because I have to wash my hands, put it on, and then I have to go see it again, wash it again. It's like a revolving door. And then what else do I have in there? I have a little thing that has all the codes and stuff I need for work. Because I don't know why I have that. And I also have another, hold on. Another hand cream, which is gold bond. Like I said, I use, I have to have a lot of hand cream in my bags. This one's, this one has aloe in it. This one, it's not as thick and oily as the other one, but this one is something that I have in there as well. What else is there? There's a lot of other stuff, but we're not doing what's in my bag video, right? So, <laughs> this was the 10 handbags that I've used the most so far from January up to end of June because I'm filming this at the end of June. I don't know when I'm gonna post it, but it's gonna be from January to June. So, and at the end of the year, I'll do another one for the remainder months. So, yeah, that was the 10 handbags I've used the most so far. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, I'll greatly appreciate it. If you could take a second to like, comment, and subscribe down below, I'll greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye.